The first thing I want to say is um, genetically modified crops have been around forever. It is just the uh, method of genetic modification that has changed in the recent decades and um, the speed at which um, crops can be changed genetically has, has changed. So um, in my view there is nothing fundamentally new about genetically modified crops. Um, the way they can help feeding mankind is obvious. Uh, one can uh, try to increase the yield, one can um, uh, try to uh, change the composition of nutrients in crops. Uh, there was um, mentioning of particular amino acids that for example are under expressed in in corn in natural corn that could be increased and so um, would uh, provide a more balanced uh, diet for for people and of course then there are drought resistant crops and uh, salt resistant crops that uh, could be used in areas where nowadays agriculture is sort of a marginal uh, 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 enterprise. And so <clears throat> I think there's a lot of potential. And the uh, fears that people have are I think largely unjustified. Um, I think the, the uh, uh, worst case scenario that uh, goes around in, in, the, in the media and in the heads of some people is that there will be a combination of um, genetic modification that turn out to be poisonous or uh, undermine the health of, of, of the consumers. and. <clears throat> Maybe there is even a, um, uh, let's say, ideological aversion against uh, changing nature. And as somebody um, said today, I mean, not everything in nature is good. There are very potent poisons uh, made by uh, marine animals that we have no countermeasures against and they kill you in instantaneously. So, uh, <clears throat> being natural is not, not automatically good or, or healthy. And so, uh, <clears throat> it is not that, that people <coughs> try to uh, damage uh, the uh, population, the customers. I don't think so. That would be counterproductive. These are, these are the business of the companies. They cannot kill their customer. I mean, that doesn't make sense economically, even if they were all sort of uh, have no, no ethical uh, uh, considerations whatsoever. They cannot damage their, their, their customer. I mean, this is not, this would be, uh, uh, would not make any sense. And so the only possibility that there's something happening that is adverse to a large part of the population would be an unknown biological process, an unknown, as yet unknown, unanticipated interaction. And I think the, uh, the way in which genetically modified crops are introduced is not that the whole world in one, from one year to the next uses those. It's, it's spreading slowly and any adverse effects of course will be uh, apparent first in a small, in a small group. And but I, I have some sympathy with those who say 
we want the uh, packages of our food indicate whether they have been produced, the food has been produced with genetically modified crops. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that. And those of us who are well-to-do, they can afford buying more expensive uh, crops that they believe are more healthy. That's okay. But I'm thinking of, I mean, of uh, at least a billion people on the planet who are constantly, basically, at the edge of starvation. And they will not oppose genetically modified crops, I bet you. Um, there is something to, to it, because uh, simply put, we don't really understand uh, the biological world completely. So we are not safe against unforeseen uh, adverse effects. And there is a small risk of uh, uh, something, as I said, interacting in a way that we are not we are not aware of. But um, I think we have to accept a certain amount of risk in our lives, and we do. Everybody does. I mean, we are driving a car, we are flying in airplanes. We are, there is a small risk that we get killed in, in that process. And so <clears throat> the idea that life can be absolutely safe is, is absurd. We all will die. And so um, asking for uh, a food that is totally, I mean, without risk is, is absurd because most of us are, over, I mean, not you, but, but not the people of Spain in general. I must uh, admit that uh, there are not that many overweight people here. I, I do not quite understand how you do that, but, but uh, you walk around in America, you see a lot of uh, people who eat too much, and it doesn't matter whether they eat uh, natural food or genetically modified food. It is bad because uh, it will kill them eventually. So, and it will not be the fact that they eat genetically modified food. It will be the fact that they eat too much. And, but they do that without anybody complaining. Or, of course, they, they feed a whole industry that, that uh, claims that it can take the, the excess uh, body weight away again. But, I mean, this is uh, one of the absurd uh, situations we live in. So I'm, when I'm thinking of, of genetically modified food, I think of, of uh, that part of the world population that will not starve, probably, uh, when uh, progress is made in, on that field.